Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show how to integrate with AWS SQS Lambda and AWS SES, which is ML service. By the way, this is a continuation of my previous video. With the previous video, I show how to integrate AWS SQS and Lambda. With this video, if you want to know how to integrate SQS Lambda, please refer the previous video, which is in a, a comment below. So with this tutorial, I'm going to show how to integrate with Lambda and SCS and the comparison how to send an email to a specific email. With the previous video, what we came up with, we create a SQS, uh, the, the standard uh, queue, and we create a, a Lambda function. And plus we create a, a DynamoDB table. So, but in our case, this case, we are not interested with the DynamoDB table, but we still we are using uh, SQS, the one that already created, and the uh, function, the Lambda function. What we're gonna do, uh, currently it's, uh, everything is empty, we're gonna write the code. Before writing code, we need to do some configuration in uh, email service. What we're gonna do, we type SES and click on a new tab. Uh, and it goes to uh, email service SES. And what we gonna do, we need to create a, a new identity. So in this case, I'm already created identity. identity. So this is the identity you use to send an email, the, basically the from address. So let's say if you want to send some email address, you want to get uh, some from address. This is the from address we are going to use, but the to address it could be anything, but in the from address you need to verify. So what I did, I, I create a, uh, I did already, but I can show you how to do that again. So what I am going to do, I am uh, I'm going to delete this and uh, yeah, it's, it's deleting. What we are going to do, I am creating a new identity. So once I click identity, either you can select email address or either you can select the domain. This is where you can use our, you, if you you have a um, own domain and you can use it, but if you don't have a domain, more like most people doesn't have, don't have, like what I'm going to use email address. So once I use, I do have a Gmail address. So once I uh, put the email address and uh, create that identity. What's the gonna what's the what what's gonna happen? It's creating a, a verification email address, so we email and send to uh, the given email. So you need to go manually. You need to go to your email. Uh, in this case, I'm going to uh, Gmail and I verify. So currently, it's uh, you can see it's uh, verification is pending. What I'm going to do? I'm going to my email and uh, verify the email. Here you can see I am in my email and it send a, a verification email. Once you click this, you will uh, verify your email address. Then I'm going to my uh, lambda, uh, my uh, identity. Let's go to my identity and give a refresh. You can see identity should be status should be uh, verified. So as far as it's verified, yes, you can start using this email address to send an email. Uh, if it is in uh, under not verified, you can't send an email. It's get rejected. So now email configuration is fine. Now let's go back to our uh, function, uh, demo uh, lambda function. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm copy uh, a code. Then we can go through one by one. So uh, as you can see, I'm getting some more uh, room. Right? Okay. Right. Let's go to uh, one by one. This is as you as you mentioned. This is a Node.js application, the Node.js application uh, or Node.js Lambda, you can call it. And what we're gonna do, we get the AWS SDK, and as as usual, it's just login the information. In this case, what we're gonna do, as you can see, we uh, uh, destructuring the event. The event is something like the the SQS message is something like uh, if we go to uh, send and message, it's a message. It should be something like um, uh, like give me the SQS message should be like this. So we are sending the use ID, name, and the age. So in a lambda function, what we gonna do? 
over here uh, we, we get the uh, body um, you can see it's a console log and this is where I actually start sending start sending uh, or set some configuration to send an email uh, make sure you are uh, in the right region otherwise you get an error so in this case I, what I'm going to do I'm creating a new object with the AWS SES the new object and uh, the region this must be uh, same as uh, the your, your region so make sure I which which is matched with the, your region and then what we're going to do we create some parameters so the parameter is basically the one that we have used to send a, a email as you can see params come with the destination destination could be any address uh, in my case what i'm going to do two address and from address are same but in your case you can put any address as a two and the message the important part the message uh, comes with the object the object has a, a property called body and the and the text the it's a uh, body has a text because we are sending a text in this case uh, again you can see the text is uh, uh, again object uh, come with the data uh, to make sure this data object this object is a string the, 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 this should be a string if you're it's a json if you pass a json it won't work it won't work so make sure this is the, the body is a string in our case it's a body is a string of course um, over here we are we are uh, this we are passing to json but we are not using the this uh, json object what we are going to use the record a uh, zero of uh, body object and uh, of course you need to uh, set the subject for the email address and this is where you need to set the source which is the identity we created in SES uh, SES uh, service so this is the this is the identity you need to put as a source Right. In this case, as I mentioned, source and the from and to address is uh, in my case is same. But you can uh, you can change the two address as 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 whatever you like. But the sources should be the something verifies email address which verify in a SES uh, page. And uh, then what we're gonna do? Uh, the simply send an email. We call the the send email method on the SES object, the SES object. And we pass the the whatever the data we need to pass as a param. That's all we need to do for configuration uh, with the SES with the lambda. So let's give a shot and let's see how what's going to happen. We will deploy this change. And uh, uh, definitely this is going to fail. Uh, let's again it's let's it let it fail and we will fix the uh, issue. Uh, go to SQS and uh, we will try to send a message seems like message got delivered successfully what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, i'll close this most of the other window we don't need and uh, what i'm going to open uh, in the lambda uh, lambda monitor i'm opening the cloud watch logs for this particular function um, once you click that Yes, it's come with the uh, uh, logs and let's open the logs and see what's going on. Okay, so what you can see, uh, it says, uh, okay, uh, we dump in the whole uh, record message. Yes, the SQS says, SQS integrate with the function, a Lambda function, it's trigger the Lambda function, that's fine. Uh, that's why we get this message. As you can see, use ID, we get SAM and testing and age, that's fine. And uh, we get some uh, logs. It says promise and pending. Let's give a shot why it's pending. Uh, seems like it's still pending and uh, our Lambda got uh, finished. Let's see why it's wrong, why it's in pending. Cool, okay, now I'm in a code. What you can see as uh, this code because we are call, we are waiting for the promise what we're gonna do we need to await if you do not await what's gonna happen it's 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 not waiting for the result and it's go away that's why it's a it's it's a um, the promise is pending what we're gonna do we added the await and let's deploy again 
uh, yeah deploy the code new code is deployed we will change the name because make sure we will uh, we are not referring the old code name testing one two three again let's uh, give it uh, one year old send a message uh, go back to our cloud watch and give it a refresh uh, right uh, let's see uh, give a second sometimes creating the new log file yeah in this case it created a new log file let's open the new log file right this is the error I, I was expecting of course as you can see uh, we got the body and then finally we got an error so if I open this error again if this is an access denied it clearly says you don't have access not authorized to perform send email function send email uh, action so it's easy what we're going to do you want to go uh, go to the particular role which attached to lambda then update the role with the SES permission send email permission then it should work so let's go to uh, a role uh, I'm going to the role if you want to uh, role what we're going to do we go to the code uh, sorry configuration and go to the permission and uh, click on this role so it's it's pop it's open with the uh, the role which attached to lambda what we gonna do uh, over here currently we do have sqs full permission and dynamodb table in this case we don't need it. this is something i used for previous uh, video what we gonna do uh, we will add a new permission uh, let's add the permission as ses uh, ses and enter and you can see amazon ses full access uh, of course as you mentioned as i mentioned uh, you don't need to give a full permission but i'll give a full permission on here uh, but I'll, I'll push the uh, the bare minimum uh, permission okay uh, in a, in a uh, github or i'll like I'll, I'll, I'll give a uh, the bare minimum uh, permission to this so we don't need to uh, give a full permission we will create a, a new policy because uh, if we go back to a role what we're gonna do we add in a new uh, let's create a, a new inline policy which allow only uh, the uh, send email function because we don't need to give a full permission I'll copy the permission and paste here and as you can see i'm giving only send email and send raw email permission for any resources right so what i'm doing i'm uh, review policy and i give it a name send uh, email scs uh, policy and create policy so this policy is automatically added here as you can see send email policy is there this is inline uh, either we can give a full for permission or it's as i mentioned it's better to give a, a list permission aws provide a list permission of um, function feature uh, right so it's everything is done uh, let's go back to our uh, sqs and we will push another one let's say user id is something uh test 999 uh this is loud to code and let's get 30 and we will send a message it seems like it's sending prof nicely and we will go to again uh, cloud watch and let's give a refresh and see okay cool right what we can see uh this is the last log is in very down last execution is very down you can see 1533 and you can see this is the uh, record uh, and the incoming message body and this is the response um, response in the sense if you if you go to the lambda code again i'll show you where do we have this code um, once you send the SM, uh, email email i'm logging the result this is the actual result you can see you can see the response metadata request id is this and message id seems like it it's passing uh, perfectly and in the in the lambda function now let's go to uh, my email so if i go to email 
yes i'm going to gmail okay i'm going to my email uh, yes you can see uh, we got an email so me is basically i'm sending the uh, from and to address is same that's why it's me if i click on the mail uh, it says report uh, looks safe i'm click on uh, this is actual the body we set and this is the uh, the subject we are setting as i mentioned in here so we are setting the our uh, the body and as a sqs message and the uh, subject this is the subject so this is how like yes this is how you can integrate your lambda sqs lambda with the scs uh, which is email email service provided by the aws uh, the again the code will be available in the github so you can have a look um yeah that's all about this tutorial uh, again if you have any question please comment below if you have any issue while you are running the same uh, tutorial i'm happy to help uh, plus again uh, if you like my content please like and subscribe see you on next time